guys, today we are going to throw it back to a really simple sit down in my living room video because I have a ton of new fall home decor that I want to share with you. I just really felt like this year I wanted to do a refresh. I'm selling a lot of my decor on like Facebook Marketplace or Instagram, whatever, that kind of thing. And just kind of starting new a little bit, not completely, specifically like with my pillows and stuff. They were getting very dingy and we have dogs and they just don't really stay in good shape very long. So that's kind of what inspired my new refresh. And then I just have seen so many cute items and we do for fall and Christmas decorate pretty much every single room in the house. So anyways, yeah, that's the plan and I'm really excited. So I have a lot of new stuff to show you. We have so many retailers in this video, Target, Kirkland's, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Home Goods, Amazon. I think that's it. So I'm going to start with Kirkland's. Kirkland's is always my number one place to buy home decor. I just absolutely love their stuff. And that's where I first saw these pillows that you see sitting behind me. And that's kind of what like gave me inspiration in the first place. So we have two of the orange pillows right there, two of the leopard pillows. And then we have a little Sherpa kind of pillow. And then this pillow. So this one just says autumn vibes super super cute very long I love a good long lumbar type pillow like this and pretty much everything that I got from Kirkland's was 20% off this whole season I feel like they've been doing 20% off which is amazing here's a close-up of the lumbar pillow that is in the center of this couch behind me I have another one for our little love seat couch over there it's just a fuzzy kind of Sherpa looking pillow really cute I will say online it looked more of like a faux fur and this looks more of like a curly Sherpa but either way I think it's cute I like that it has it on both sides a lot of these styles of pillows you only see the texture on one side and then here is a close-up of the orange pillow this one is just like a textured kind of velour material I love these pillows I do wish they were a little bit more filled I do think that they can kind of get smushed pretty easily but I love the color of them I love the texture of them we had some pillows like this that we bought when we first bought this house over three years ago and my husband hates them he complains about them all the time because they were really cheap and they were just kind of getting dingy and scratched up from the dogs and feathers would always poke through so this year I decided to donate those and get new orange pillows so these are the ones I went with I like how big they are and I think they're really soft and I don't see them getting damaged as easily as the other ones that were from home goods so yeah I have two more of these to put on the other couch with the Sherpa pillow and a couple other pillows that I'll throw in here and there for decorative purposes. This thing is just bugging me so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this now but it is just a doormat. I always like to change out our doormats each season which seems excessive and I, it really is kind of but they literally get ruined. Just something about our house we don't have like a good covering. I usually keep them for about two seasons and then they have to retire. I hadn't bought any in a while for fall so I went ahead and got a couple new ones this year. This one is just covered in colorful leaves. Really cute, simple for fall. Another pillow I forgot about from Kirkland's is another lumbar style pillow. And I actually have it upside down, but it says, let's get cozy. Super cute. This one is a white base with the orange letters. We definitely decorate a ton with this burnt orange color. Bigger than I expected. I ordered this online and I was actually really impressed with the size, but I think I'm going to put this on our smaller couch. We'll see. I'm not sure where it's going to look best because I also have that pillow. Next up we have a wreath from Kirkland's. I just fell in love with this wreath. It is so beautiful. I love the pompous grass thrown in there. I love the wheat strands and just the fall colors that you see in this wreath. I think it's adorable. So yeah this was a favorite find from this year. Immediately I had to pick this up and I'm really happy with it. I'm interested to see how it's gonna look with our outdoor decor. And then lastly for our outdoor spaces I got another doormat. Like I said I needed to upgrade them this year. They're pretty affordable though so I don't really mind every couple
couple years purchasing new ones. This one just says come back with pumpkin anything. Anyone in my life who knows me knows this is just so me. I love pumpkin spice anything. So, so good. So I had to pick this one up from Kirkland's and I'm really excited about this one. It's probably my favorite of the two. And I like that this one is like neutral, but still has like a fall theme. So this is another thing that I will probably use outside either at my front door or out on my back deck. I love having people over in the fall because I want people to see my decorations and I love hanging out on our back porch where we have lights and last year we really just like spiced up our back porch so I think I might put this out there. It was marketed as an outdoor decor piece so I'm hoping that it holds up okay. I'll have to keep you guys updated but it's really really cute. It's just a little pumpkin if I don't use it outside or if I find that it's not really gonna hold up. I have a place for it in here in my living room also. Love the texture of it, the color, the little metal leaves here that kind of move with it. And it's really chunky here at the bottom. So it sits up really nice on its own. The back is flat and smooth. So if you wanted to put it up against a wall or something, you could do that as well. I think I got a small white one too. So I'll have to see if I can find that in these bags. So I actually got this one as well. So they are supposed to just kind of like sit next to each other. This one is more like short and wide, whereas the other one is like tall and skinny. So I think they look really good together either like I said outside or just sitting by like a blanket basket here in my living room. Either way I love them. I think they're going to make a great addition to my decor. Speaking of outside decor I also picked up this little sign. I say little but it's not little. It's actually larger than I expected but I think this is going to look really cute out on the back porch. Like I said we've been sprucing that area up so we'll see. It's very very neutral. If it doesn't end up looking good I can always return it but I don't know just from like first glance I loved it it says autumn leaves and pumpkins please and it is just a sign like I said so it has this little stand I think this is going to look great next to all of my pumpkins and mums that I put outside I don't know I'm looking forward to really decorating that space and making it look good and inviting people over and just enjoying the space also from Kirkland's I got a little potpourri set I always use potpourri in my house whether it be on my bar cart in a bowl in the kitchen wherever I loved the colors of this one and it also smells really good too it's not overpowering that's what I love about potpourri it just adds such a subtle scent to your home and it really does work this one is purely pumpkin spice as pumpkin clove cinnamon vanilla caramel good little mixture there and like I said I really liked the colors just very neutral with like a little bit of like gold mixed in there as well another little pumpkin so this one is more of like a heavy duty pumpkin I don't know if it's like a really thick plastic or what but it seems like very sturdy and it has the letter L on it for our last name. I don't know where this is gonna go, but I loved the look of the initial and then you can put a candle in here and light it up. And that's like what I really fell in love with because I thought that looked so beautiful. Actually, you don't even have to put a candle in it. It's already pre-lit. You just need to put batteries in it. I feel like this could be something that even went outside too. This you might have to bring in when it's like raining and stuff, but at least if you were hosting an event or something, this might look cute on like a coffee table outside or something like that. I think this is my last Kirkland's bag. So we have this little piece here that I guess is like a gourd, right? Mm, I think so. I don't know. I might not be right. But anyways, yeah, I think this is like a gourd. It's shaped like that anyways. I think the texture of this is beautiful. I also love the more muted color. And then I also like that it has a gold stem. I really accent with a lot of golds in my house. So that's going to fit in perfectly. They have these in a lot of different shapes and sizes so that you can kind of mix and match and make a little bundle out of it. I just opted for the big one and we'll see if I have a place for him but you could definitely add some smaller ones around it to make it like a cluster and I think that would be really cute as well. So this next piece can be used for fall but it's not really necessarily a fall piece. I had really just been wanting a wooden bowl like this and I loved that this one had the gold leaf here on it. I think that is so pretty. I just like I said love gold accents. It looks like very high quality too. Really really cute and I'm definitely going to incorporate it into my fall decor in my kitchen either with potpourri or some sort of bowl filler. I got two packs of these velour kind
kind of um, fuzzy pumpkins. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put those in that bowl. So I think that bowl would look better with potpourri, but either way I can put these on my bar cart or somewhere else in my house. I have a lot of different spaces to fill with stuff like this. And I loved the texture of them. They're so cute. So they're just like really fuzzy and they come in several different neutral colors. And I think this is the last thing from Kirkland's. It is a little glass pumpkin. I don't really have any pumpkins like this. I have a ton of pumpkins, you guys, but not really like this. This one is a neutral beigey taupe kind of color. It's a little bit taller and I just think it literally matches in my living room perfectly. So I'm really excited to pair this with like some other pumpkins. I mean, you could even do like these two next to each other, a little cluster of different shapes, size and textured pumpkins or gourds and see how that looks together on either a counter space, an entryway, coffee table, mantle, anything like that. So really quick, I want to show you guys two pillows that I got from Pottery Barn this year. Pottery Barn has gorgeous decor. I'm sure you guys know that, but it is very pricey. I did have a coupon for Pottery Barn. I think if I like signed up for their emails or something, I got a coupon, but it was still pricey. I'm not even gonna lie about it. I will say the stuff is a lot bigger than I thought. It's only two pillows for fall, but I also got some Halloween decor from them too, which I'm gonna do a separate Halloween decor video. So give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that. But they have these crazy shaped pillows this year. And I feel like it started a really big trend. You can now get dupes of these on like Etsy. I think Walmart or Target has some similar ones as well. But I just got the OGs from Pottery Barn and wow, are they huge. I mean, look at this one. It is literally bigger than my head, but I think these are so cool. I'm really, really excited to see how these look on the couch, but I actually think they match the leopard pillows perfectly. So I will probably put them on this big couch couch, which means I might have to do a little bit of pillow rearranging. But yeah, they're gorgeous. They're very soft. I mean, I know it doesn't look like a pillow, but I mean, definitely you could use it as a pillow. They're very soft and squishy. Even this part of it is kind of flexible in a way. So yeah, I'm really impressed by these. I love, love, love this one. They come in three sizes and three colors. I got the two bigger sizes. I didn't get the little one because it was green and I don't really decorate with green in my house. But these two I thought would be perfect. So here is the medium sized one. This one is so pretty. It's like a Sherpa fuzzy material. Very, very soft and cozy. Of course, not quite as big as the other one. And once again, has like a flexible stem here. It really does act like a pillow. It's crazy. But yeah, my idea with these is to just kind of put them up against the other pillows like that. I think that is so, so cute. I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to style these and I will take a picture and put it on Instagram or LTK for you guys to shop. Of course, everything's gonna be linked in this video, but they're just so cute. I'm obsessed. I guess next I will show you what I got from Hobby Lobby. And the first thing is a big set of faux pompous grass. This is my favorite faux pompous grass I've ever seen. I just think it looks so gorgeous. I love the color. It looks so realistic and so fluffy. It is very pricey though. I mean, these were 20 bucks a stem and I did get them for 50% off, but that's still very pricey. But we will see how these end up looking together. But this is what they look like. This is all seven stems. So as you can see, if you wanted a really big fluffy look, you would have to get a bunch of stems. I got seven, which I think is pretty fluffy. I got some stuff that I can add in in case it looks a little bare. So this is the bundle that I got from Hobby Lobby to supplement with the pompous grass. If I find that it looks a little bit bare, I think this would look good in there. It just has like some pumpkins, some pine cones, some wheatgrass, some leaves, just lots of other natural looking stems. I also got this little jar from Hobby Lobby. I love the look of this. The color is just gorgeous. I love dark browns and beiges that you can kind of see through like glass vases and stuff. So this one is perfect and I did get two little stems to go in here. Obviously I know this is not like enough but I already have some like little faux pompous and other stems that I think would look good with this as well. So then we have like pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. I feel like that's what fall is all about, right? It's all the different pumpkins. I got this velvet pumpkin. I loved these from Hobby Lobby. So cute. They're really squishy and they have like that twisted stem there. I love the look of those. Once again, adds like different texture to all the pumpkins I already have. Then 
I got this little pumpkin, which is miniature and glittery. That's the main reason I got this one. I loved the glitter on it. I think that's so gorgeous. So this can literally be thrown anywhere because of how small it is. So yeah, it was a no brainer. This is so teeny tiny, but it is a little acorn with the buffalo check design on the top. We decorate with this pattern in the man cave. I don't add too much there. I don't want it to be too cluttered, but I do add a few things here and there. And I think this one is a nice little addition for this year. And that same pattern also for downstairs, I got this little garland. That's just like the little buffalo check baubles. I think that's cute on the entertainment system. We have a banner there now, but my husband doesn't like the one I have now. So I'm thinking this is a nice compromise because it doesn't hang too low. I also got this little garland, which is just like a boho bead garland for up here in our living room. I decorate with a lot of kind of boho stuff like that. I also got this little miniature wreath. My idea for this is to put something in the center of it as a centerpiece, not really to use it as a wreath. So you guys can get an idea. Like that is kind of the look I'm going for is to put it underneath a vase. This isn't really super fall, but I got this little sign for our coffee station. I have a little two tier stand there that this would be perfect on. I actually know a girl who uses that on hers and it's like the perfect dimensions. And then I got this little sign that can go anywhere as well. Hello fall. Just a super cheap little sign that I can stick on any tabletop. It stands up on its own. So I actually think that's it for Hobby Lobby. Only a couple more places you guys. We have home goods. I didn't go crazy in home goods. I did get a couple things. This pumpkin I had to have. It's very bohemian. In the past we haven't decorated super boho for fall but I think that's something I want to incorporate more of and this one is perfect. I loved how tall it was. I think it'll go with a lot of my other pumpkins I already have. I also got some dog toys, which the dogs are right there watching. So this one's cute. It's like a little pumpkin. This is not Halloween or fall at all, but I also got them a little octopus toy. I got these little pumpkin baking cups. I love to bake during the fall and these will be good to have on hand. So these we love. I don't like absolutely love that there's like blue and green added in, but we use these these little mitts every day pretty much for cooking and some of ours are pretty dingy so I think I might get rid of a couple not even dingy but like gross honestly like we can wash them as much as we want but they're like ripped and anyway so I think I might get rid of two and then have these two just to have like little fall ones I thought would be cute and they were literally like five dollars oh my gosh I forgot about this but lastly we have a mug I feel like you can't go through fall and not get at least one new mug you know and I don't really have Halloween ones so this one was perfect also five dollars not bad at all. Love it. And then the last item from Home Goods is this boho wreath here. Once again, love the boho like beads up top. And then the colors of this are very neutral maroon and beige. So loved that. This I would more so hang on like the back of our bedroom door or somewhere inside. It's not really like an outdoor wreath. This is so freaking random, but I also got this pumpkin spice latte candle from Cracker Barrel. And I thought it was the cutest thing ever. It looks like coffee. It has a silicone lid, but you open it and it's a candle and it smells so good. It actually like, I don't know if you guys know, but I am like a little over 15 weeks pregnant right now and I'm still not 100% over the nausea and it smells good, but because of how strong it is, it's like making me a little nauseous sometimes. I'm just telling you that because of how strong it is. If you don't like strong candles, you're not gonna like this, but the scent literally, if it's not even burning and it kind of like fills up the room and my husband noticed it too. It's not just my my strong nose, but yeah, it's it's intense. Other pumpkins I got from Home Goods. This is a pumpkin candle as well. Very cute. I love that it's like super skinny. This is one that I might put in my studio or something, but it's a very large candle. This is another one that would be cute for outside, not to stay outside, but just if you had like guests over on a fun night and you wanted to light a candle, that would be good. Lastly, we have this little boho pumpkin. I'm not sure if all of these pumpkins are going to fit around in my space, but we'll just kind of have to see and get rid of what I don't use. As for Target, that's really the only last big retailer that I have. I did get this from the dollar spot. I'm not sure if this is fall or Halloween, but I loved the witch's broom kind of look. I think it's so cute. It's a miniature one, of course. It was $5. I got this one and I got one for Halloween as well. Also from the dollar spot, this sign I fell in love with. It just says fall, leaves, apples, pumpkins, flannel, cider, football, bonfires, hot cocoa, 
and hay rides. This I'm definitely gonna put in my kitchen. It already has a place, it's perfect. So I got two of these little guys. I love their little miniature planters they come out with each year. I'm probably not gonna keep both, but I needed to see what size I like better. And it's hard to tell unless it's in your space. That's what's so hard with home decor is like you can't really tell what you're gonna use or like until it's in your space. But luckily I can return it super easily to Target. This one was $6, this one was 10. Oop, almost dropped it. But I loved the colors of these. I use these in our kitchen on like little pedestals and stuff next to the soap. A couple more candles. This one from the Hearth and Hand collection. It's in the Apple Orchard scent. I love this for a centerpiece next to a floral arrangement or a nice big pumpkin. So beautiful. I love the large candles this year. Like I got two of them. I don't have anything like this. I just think they're so chic. This one was 35 bucks. I do believe I had a coupon or a gift card but still that is pretty pricey but I did like the scent of it this one isn't so overpowering so that's good and then I also loved this candle which is just in this gorgeous gold packaging this one says willow that's the scent to it and I just got this one because I liked the scent the best out of all of them in the gold container this would be good I think in our man cave I think my husband would really like this scent I love it it's so good that one was only 20 bucks still pricey but not as bad then I just got a couple baskets from target this one i don't know if i'm gonna use this or not i might return it but i was gonna see if it fits on one of the shelves on my entryway table so i think that's just a nice way to decorate that area and then this one i'm really excited about i've really been wanting a nice big large blanket basket for next to the mirror since i put this mirror in here we haven't really had anything next to it other than the dog toys which i want to hide away a little bit more in the fall so i think this is gonna go perfect next to that okay the last few things are from michael's and Amazon. Michael's is just really DIY stuff. I got this little pumpkin. I saw Macy Blackwell on Instagram. I love her. She did a DIY where she cut out the top and then put some floral stems in. So I got a few different floral stems. I think I got like two of these neutral leaves and then two of these and we'll see how that looks in there. Of course it'll look a lot better once it's done but I'm super excited to do that little DIY. I also got these for my Michaels. I don't know if it was for the same DIY. Now I'm blanking, but it could have been. Maybe it was like I thought that might look cute. I'm not sure which one I'm going to end up doing, but I just got several florals from there. I also got these little things to hopefully stick in the bottom there. I also got some tool from Michaels. When it gets closer to Halloween, I want to do a DIY where I cover pumpkins in tool and make them look really cool. That rhymed. But anyways, yeah, so I just went ahead and picked that up. They also had this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I loved this like boho kind of tassel. I think that could be cute wrapped around a pumpkin stem. So yeah, just lots of DIY stuff from michaels and then from amazon only a couple things i got this little guy which is supposed to go down in the man cave possibly but we'll see i don't know some of the amazon stuff i'm like i'm unsure about it so i don't know it doesn't even seem to fit in this thing anyways i don't know it's not fitting in the stand really it's cute but amazon stuff is just really like you can find some really great things on there but it always comes in like the most like sketch packaging <laughs> i don't know and then i also got this little little thing where you put them next to each other and it says haul. Now I do think this is really cute and I do think it's worth it. It comes in a little box packaged nicely. I have one letter missing but you get the point. It's cute. Very cute and this can go anywhere. It's an affordable decor piece so I do recommend that. And then these are another Amazon find which they are vacuum sealed and I am quite literally trapped right now so I can't get up to open them but they are just pillowcases and I got these to potentially use outside just to kind of spice it up with some fall patterns and stuff. So that's the plan with these. Maybe I'll insert a picture of them because they're vacuum sealed, but that's another thing that I got from Amazon. And then the last Amazon thing are these floral stems, which like, are you joking? <laughs> Amazon floral stems get me every time because they look so much nicer than they are and I even got two and I just still feel like it's just very small. So just no, oh and one came off as I'm sitting here. So I don't know if I would recommend these. I honestly think you're better just going to Michael's spending the extra little bit. I don't even know if it is extra because Michael's always has their stuff on sale but I don't know. Just Amazon floral stems always disappoint me so I think I'm going to return these. But I still want to show that stuff because I know you guys like to see 
the Amazon, those more like affordable or accessible, I guess I should say, places. Anyways, you guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed so much fall decor. I'm about to get started sorting through everything and listing things for sale. Check out my Instagram. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to sell everything on Facebook Marketplace, so I might end up taking it to Instagram as well, at least for the smaller things that I could ship possibly. So if you are interested in purchasing any of my old home decor, check out Instagram. But yeah, if you like this video and you want me to do more home decor videos, give this one a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you're not already. Thank you guys for watching. I love and appreciate you all very much and I will talk to you soon in my next video. Bye.